friends and family a day and a half later. Luckily, you told today you're reacting to some Annie. So, the sister who was stabbed by Jack Pop of Beers Stankers Teen and Figurai Death by Evil Come. So I think she pardoned feed the girl death and stab her for some type of reason. We probably wouldn't know. It probably going to be sad, traumatized, and hurtful. But y'all want to know what really uh, really going on? Like, subscribe, and always stay up to date with your favorite reaction to LJ reaction. Music! Have the injuries? Yeah, yeah. The, the bruises from the cuffs? No. No. Oh. Like that. Oh, no. Sorry? How did that happen? Oh, is this, oh, is this interview? That was a question. Oh, 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 the injuries on your, your fingers? Yeah, What happened there? You know, I taught secondary kids for 20 years, mm -hmm. 15 of those were all boys. Uh -huh. There's nothing you can't tell me about men and boys. And that is a performance designed to, I don't know, elicit sympathy or what, to what have us believe that? that there's something really wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him. It had taken police three weeks to find him. His three DNA weeks. was not on their databases, but his father's hmm. was. High up on a hill with panoramic views, this was a beauty spot as far away from danger as anyone could imagine. Okay. Certainly sisters Biba Henry and Nicole Smallman thought so. They had chosen the highest point in Friant Country Park as a perfectly safe place under COVID lockdown rules to stage a small birthday party for Biba in June last year. This horrific case took place in June of 2020, right when the COVID-19 pandemic was considered to be at its worst in many parts of the world. Because of this, just about everything was out of the ordinary. Social gatherings and big parties were obviously out of question, but sisters Biba Henry and Nicole Smallman mm -hmm. got creative and found a way to celebrate a little bit of joy while still staying safe and socially distant. It was Biba's birthday and Nicole and a couple of close friends didn't want the occasion to go without Biba getting a chance to feel celebrated and special. So they found this special spot far away from everyone else. Where? It was a simple party. Let me see. Where is she going with this? It, it, it seemed like two nice um, sister trying to have some fun and separate thing. Because since they were COVID-19 and around 2020, trying to have a nice day and a good day. So where is she, she going with this? complete with fairy lights, snacks, and just enjoying each other's company. And as you can see from the pictures, it looked like a lovely time. And as the summer evening neared midnight, the guests drifted away, leaving the two women wearing fairy lights, dancing to music under the night sky. But somewhere in the park, lurked a complete stranger. The women didn't know that this stranger was out there or that he had what, been watching out them. There they blood? also didn't know that you're he out there from, had made a deal with the blood? devil. This man was 18-year-old right? Danielle Hussein, and he was a monster who was looking for prey. He yeah, left he his out father's there dress at around quarter to nine that evening to enter the park through a different entrance. He lay in wait for four hours. He was there to kill. The 18-year-old had written out a demonic pact and signed it in his own blood. This pact that Danielle made with the devil is enough to literally send a shiver down your spine. He agreed to perform six sacrifices to the devil himself every six months. These sacrifices would only involve women victims. He believed that if he fulfilled this agreement, he would receive wealth and power. More specifically, he thought he would win the Mega Millions jackpot. He is conscious, calculating, and trying to work through how to achieve what he sees as being his own. What type of jackpot is decide you to go and and take a different route to a park uh, when the pandemic was on a peak? 
and thought it was cool to go and stab like like you uh -uh, they didn't say stab or kill but but they say he was looking for blood Actives. and so there's a logic to his thinking yeah, it, got, it is a logic aspect. And not, and not fake, it, a, a logic to, unreal, uh, bizarre, yeah, aberrant. like it, it, it a logic to think that he is doing this question. through it's some a logic deal to it. with demonic characters. Detectives say that Nicole and Biba were extremely vulnerable because they were distracted, did not think anyone else was there, and they were very eye-catching due to the fairy lights they were using. This was the last photo of the women still alive, taken by Nicole's iPhone. The old Bailey was told that one can see both women appear to glance to their left. Uh -huh. The time was 13 minutes past one on the morning okay, of okay, June okay, okay, the okay. What happened next is nothing short what? of an absolute nightmare. What? It was gory, vicious, and incredibly cruel. What? The last moments of these women's lives were absolutely filled with terror as Danielle ambushed them and viciously started to them both with a blade. They were reported missing by their families the following day after nobody heard from them. Tragically, it was also their loved ones who would end up discovering their bodies. I don't creep or about the whole situation is get in that area where nobody gonna hear them hear them scream. Like there is somewhere where where there really ain't by there so nobody would know that they're all there the ferocity of the attack. Needless to say, it was, in the prosecution's words, shocking uh -huh. savagery. No, no wrong about that. No the sisters wrong. stood no chance. Their bodies were dragged into the undergrowth, only to be found by a search party of friends and family a day and a half later. Luckily, Danielle no, no, left no, no, no shortage of evidence behind at the scene. The killer had left a trail of blood, DNA, a knife and a pair of latex gloves. And you have all the weapon right there CCTV too? CCTV shows Hussein returning to his father's house at around 3.28 a.m. No trousers, jacket round his waist and with an injured right hand tucked inside. The fact that he also went to the hospital for treatment for the wounds he sustained during the attack made him stand out even more to the cops. The following day, he was at a hospital's a &E to seek treatment no. for slashes to his hand that, the, during the, uh, the wounds from his own that. knife required mm. stitches. He told his dad he'd been robbed. Cops say that if it weren't for those serious injuries, he very well could have become a serial killer. The weapon itself, the trial concluded, was from a block of knives bought by Hussein in an Asda store. Being 18 meant all he had to show was a passport with proof of age for the purchase to be approved. No questions asked. And yet, this is someone who had a history of mental health problems and had even been referred to the anti-terror prevention program for his extremist views. I think he went in October 2017, came out May 2018. During that time, he received support from social services, health, uh, his own school, and the Prevent and Channel program. And even after he was released, uh, he went through a six month and a 12 month uh, check again, really, to. Um, to make sure things were okay and, and nothing was seen. Trained professionals might not have seen the signs that this man was a ticking time bomb just waiting to explode, but those that knew him did. Those who went to school with Danielle Hussein have told Channel 4 News how his extreme views began to emerge in class from the age of 12. We knew him to be a Satanist. He had a sinister energy about him. And that's not all they said. Danielle was what? a very jealous person. Think? He stalked my friend to the point where she'd seen him while walking home. He would Why? shout out dark remarks. History was high or Hitler. Religious education was, I worship the devil. He would often what? say he would kill you. Take a look at this footage of when Danielle was arrested and taken into custody while at his parents' house. He is surprisingly very emotionless. That's it. That's it. Dang. no emotion. Hardcore. Arrest. I'm out. I'm at the address. Like, like he ain't even showing no emotion to a cop coming to him. Hands on your head, stay where you are. Face me. He even really hands on your head, stay where you are. Stuff right there. Yeah, tell him to do it. Give it to face the car. Yeah? 
He was quickly arrested and brought into custody where he would be questioned. It had taken police three weeks to find him. Three his weeks? DNA was not on their databases, three. but his father's was. Oh, because of this, the cops were able to match his DNA to DNA at the crime scene. The injuries. Yeah, yeah. The from the cuts. No. no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 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 Oh, yeah. Sorry.
The way the Met Police responded to reports of the women going missing in the first 36 hours has been under investigation. But okay, say okay, the first okay. call from worried friends was late Saturday evening at 9 p.m. Nicola's boyfriend Adam Stone told the Old Bailey he later got a call cancelling a police visit to Bieber Henry's flat. So after loved ones first reported the girls missing, cops had said that they would come to Bieber's flat to get a photo of her. This was to help them with the search, but they never ended up coming. Then it was reportedly not until the next day in the parallel universe after the girls had been reported missing that the cops ended up coming out to the park to search for them. At that point, friends and family had already been out there for hours. The bodies were found while the cops were still on the way over. It's not great and I know I, I, you know my heart goes out to Adam Stone. He gave evidence and I've listened to that 909 call um, and it wasn't played out in court. It's just too distressing and for him to find the bodies um, you know I'm terribly sorry for that but it's something which the police's response is, is under investigation. Right, the great part about this with this reason is when someone that you in your family or like your girlfriend, boyfriend, um, got killed, and then one of your family member in the fight, one of your loved one, that body, it like really gonna hurt you real deep inside. Cause it like you, you not, you were not supposed to expect one of your family member or like your boyfriend, or girlfriend to end up dying. And, and to find their body laying there is way worse. Now. Meanwhile, now that Danielle had been found mentally competent, the trial against him could begin. It officially began mm -hmm. on June 9th of 2021 at the Old Bailey. During the trial, the prosecutor told the jury that only someone who believed that an agreement with the devil would work could believe that there was any part of him that was innocent. Ultimately, the jury agreed and convicted him on July 6th of 2021. In October of the same year, it was Mrs. Justice Whipple that ultimately handed down his sentence. Family and friends of the victims waited anxiously, all hoping that he would be given the most severe sentence possible. The sentence he received was life imprisonment with a minimum of 35 years. That means he Damn. does get a chance at parole, which could be as soon as July 20th, I, 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 2055. Well, that I, might not I, sound I, all that I, soon to you, I, there are a lot of people who feel that it is and that he doesn't deserve to ever get out of prison. Still, those that are grieving the loss of these two women can rest assured that for now, their killer is locked yeah. up behind bars where he belongs. I hope that knowing he will now spend many years behind bars, this will bring a small degree of comfort to Bieber and Nicole's loved ones. This has been a shocking and chilling case, and I know the investigation will stay with all of us involved for a very long time. Following the sentence, Biba and Nicole's loved ones released a statement. In it, they condemned their killer's senselessly evil action. Daniel Hussein went out that night with the intention of killing in order to satisfy his he bizarre woke fantasies. Up. Woke under up the deluded belief he on the wrong side of bed. He woke up on the devil's side. His and, wicked acts and the devil kept on the lives of two people in the head and the head who were simply and celebrating a birthday. You see what happened. Birthday. The senselessness of Hussein's actions has made it all the more difficult for Bieber and Nicole's loved ones to come to terms with their loss. Mina Smallman expressed her gratitude that justice was served for her girls. She also called out the fact that the killer's defense had suggested that Danielle's young age should be considered, and that yeah. he deserved a lesser sentence because of this. After all, even a little child knows that it's wrong to brutally kill two innocent people. And at 18 years old, Danielle surely knew this too. There'll be no celebrations here, but justice right, has 18. been done. You should but I already think we know, do need to review know from right that or wrong. kind of separation like you should when already someone know an adult. Um, and I think it's very disrespectful to say that children can't tell the difference between good and evil. Um, so that's something else I will be campaigning about. But today we are celebrating what is wonderful about the Metropolitan Police. Mina, an experienced teacher, also called him out for supposedly pretending to have something mentally wrong with him. She said that this was just his attempt. Attempt at trying to manipulate the jury and avoid facing the consequences of his actions. You know, I taught 
secondary kids like, for 20 years. Like, everybody knows that. We all know what he, all he had tension with. No Picture right here. Y'all can see him. I'm trying to play dumb with the cops. Y'all already know that. And what y'all doing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell. Sympathy or to have us believe that there's something really wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him. In the weeks and months following Biba and Nicole's death, some people close to the girls criticized the media's response or lack of response to this whole case. There are some that have said that this case hasn't gotten nearly the level of attention that it deserves. Some people have blamed racism on this, saying that if Biba and Nicole were both white, more people would have cared about it. And what? What what you what you all trying to say? So y'all saying if they want all completely white white that a lot of people will come and care about what? Oh y'all what man I I expect that to even come out in her mouth. This is something that Mina Smallman also believes and thinks that racism could have also played a role in why it took the cops so long to go searching for the girls. Wow. But the story doesn't end here because there is another incredibly disturbing detail still to go. Wait, 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 and what? it yet again involves the misconduct of the cops. As what? if to add further insult to injury, you'll never believe what the cops did after Biba and Nicole's bodies were found. What? Not one, but two cops took what was referred to as inappropriate pictures of the girls bodies. It was later revealed that they actually took selfies next to their bodies. What the Can you imagine doing something so heartless and cruel? These girls were both brutally murdered and these cops, Deniz Jafer and Jamie Lewis, took pictures next to them like it was all some sort of joke. And that's not even all they did. They later shared the selfies in a WhatsApp group chat with six other officers, none of which reported this horrific behavior. About a month later, both officers were charged with misconduct for not only interfering with the crime scene, but also causing even greater distress to the family members and friends of the victims. They um, hit that post notification bell. Click on the icon if you want to see more videos. Another video if you want to see from my channel.